Hey guys, it's 2 Pro Few Games or Adam, and I'm gonna show you guys how to speed up your PlayStation 4. This will actually make your PS4 run two times faster than it normally does. And uh, all you're going to need for this is an SSD. Now, how this will speed up your PS4 is uh, boot time will be faster, loading up games will be faster, and the big one is in-game load times will be faster, especially for open world games. So your PlayStation 4 comes with something called an HHD, which is a regular hard drive, right? A crappy regular hard drive. SSD is the next best thing. SSDs are just a lot faster than regular hard drives. And that's exactly why this is going to speed up your PS4, all right? Um, if you want to buy this, I'll have a link in the description to both the Canadian and the American Amazon. It's going to cost you around 150 US dollars for a 500 gigabyte SSD, which I'm using in this video. And if you want to get a one terabyte or a two terabyte SSD, you can get that as well. So if you decide to to buy the SSD, what you're going to want to do first is we want to back up our saves. So all you have to do to back up your saves is you want to go into the settings and then you want to go to application save data management. Okay. Then you want to go ahead and click on save data in system storage and you can go ahead and either upload it to the online storage. Now, personally, I have this setting on where it automatically uploads all of my stuff to the PlayStation Plus or PlayStation whatever uh, PSN automatically, or you can actually go ahead and just copy all of your save data to a USB storage. And that's really important just so you have all of your save data when you have this new SSD installed into your PlayStation 4. So what we're gonna be doing now is we are going to be removing the old hard drive that came with our PS4 and we're gonna be replacing it with our new SSD. So the first thing you wanna do is just slide off this top part of your PlayStation 4. Uh, also, you're going to need a very small screwdriver for this, just so you guys know. So go ahead and find a screwdriver that fits this screw right here. It's pretty small. I was really lucky that I had a screwdriver that worked. So go ahead and unscrew that. And then what you want to do is just slide out the hard drive from your PS4. And I also recommend taking all the screws that you unscrew and put it in the top part of the PS4 that you removed earlier. So slide out your hard drive. And then what we have to do is we have to actually unscrew the hard drive from this little frame that it's sitting in. Okay, so there's four screws, two on one side, two on the other. These guys are kind of tough to screw out. So this will take you a couple of minutes. So go ahead and unscrew those four screws. And one quick thing, the SSD SSD is a little bit thinner and this isn't just for this SSD pretty much all SSDs will be a little thinner than the hard drive that came with the PS4 so as you guys can see I'm comparing it just so I know how to place the SSD into the frame or the little case that you have to put it in and that hard drive looks ancient compared to the SSD that we're using now so like I said it's a little bit thinner so uh, you're gonna kind of have to play around with it because the screw holes won't line up perfectly like it will with the uh, hard drive that we just removed. So it will take you a couple of minutes to play around with it. And the best thing about this is you can get a one terabyte or a two terabyte and it's going to be the exact same size. So it's really, really easy. I'm probably gonna end up uh, picking up a one or two terabyte just so I can have more games downloaded on my PS4. So. Go ahead and screw that back in and then place your SSD. You'll hit our small little click when you place it in there and then screw in the original screw that we unscrewed. And then after that, you can go ahead and put the black part back on top of your PS4 and you are done with that step. So the next thing that we're gonna be doing is we are going to first need a USB flash drive. And then what we have to do is we have to actually install the latest update for the PS4. Link in the description, go to that. It will take you to this page right here. You wanna scroll down until you come to a section that says uh, perform a new installation for the system software. Scroll down a little bit more. There'll be a download now button. You wanna download that. And again, that is if you are replacing your hard drive with an SSD or a, a new hard drive. Then 
Go to your USB, you want to right click on it and hit format and then make sure you format it to FAT32. Mine was at default, uh, my FAT32 was default for my USB so I was good. Create a new folder called PS4, all in caps, then click on that folder. Create a new folder in that PS4 folder called update, again, all in capital letters. Click on that and then drag in that update that we downloaded from the PlayStation website. So once that copy's over, take it out of your computer, plug it into your PlayStation 4, really simple. Then what you wanna do is you want to press down on the PlayStation power button for about seven seconds until you hear a beep and that will restart the PlayStation 4 in safe mode. So once that happens, this will come up on your TV. You wanna go all the way down and you wanna reinstall the system software. So it will install, reinstall everything uh, for you and uh, what you're gonna have to do and then is log into your PlayStation account. You're gonna have to re-download all of your games, everything like that. And uh, you wanna go ahead and then re-download all of your saves or if you did it on a USB, uh, keep your USB plugged in and then re-download all of your saves onto the PlayStation 4. Okay guys, so once I uh, finished doing all that stuff, I reinstalled all my games. I quickly wanna talk about the results because I was actually kind of surprised on uh, how much faster the, the PS4 actually is. Like I really wasn't expecting that much of a speed increase, but uh, I'm actually really, really surprised on just how uh, fluid the menu is now. Like you click on something and it opens really fast. Uh, loading up games really quickly. Uh, In-game load times so much faster. It's not just just when you click on something like multiplayer or anything, it just loads up really quickly and it is incredibly nice to have. And uh, one big thing that I noticed is again, I mentioned this before, open world games. Uh, Diablo 3, huge open world game, and I tested it out on that. It's nuts because I know how long the Diablo loading time is. It's not crazy long, but it's an open world game. It's pretty long, and uh, I'm, I was just amazed on how quickly everything is loading. It is really, really nice, and I highly recommend doing this if you want to speed up your PlayStation 4. The only thing I regret at this point is not getting a bigger hard drive and uh, sticking with the 500 gigabytes. I'm definitely going to have to go ahead and get the one terabyte terabyte or the two terabyte SSD just so I have some more space for the future. So anyways guys that's all for now. I highly recommend doing this. If you've done it let me know in the comment section below how you guys like it and if you like the video leave it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.